with Dan Rather reporting tonight from Littleton, Colorado. Good evening from this suburban Denver community in shock and mourning tonight. Just over my left shoulder there behind that stand of trees is Columbine High School, now the site of the deadliest high school attack in U.S. history. The two teenagers alleged to have carried out the carnage with bullets and bombs are among the confirmed dead. CBS's Bill Whitaker begins our coverage of what turned this community's modern high school campus into a killing field. Bill? Dan, once bombs were cleared today, investigators were able to go through the school and make the final death toll at 15. While that's fewer than the 25 feared dead yesterday, it brings little relief to people here. When Littleton, Colorado lost its children in a wash of blood and bullets, it broke this town's heart. The Columbine school grounds are a grieving place and a crime scene. Bomb squads search for more bombs. Slain bodies lay where they fell, while investigators meticulously map the assailant's path. Police say they're sure there were only two killers. At this point, anyway, we don't have any other suspects. We feel like our suspects are dead. Um, there have been no other arrests. Police say it will be some time before they figure out how two students could have created such horror, forcing classmates to run for their lives, jump for their lives. Today, the living were counting their blessings. Crystal Woodman was in the library where the gunman killed 10 students. Yes, I was in the library when they came in and just started shooting and lighting off bombs and stuff. Then they were cheering when they were shooting people and they were just saying that they've wanted to do this their whole lives. Richard Castaldo was one of the 23 injured. He's in critical condition with four gunshot wounds, but doctors tell his family he's likely to pull through. Even though my son's got, still has a bullet in him and he's He's in the hospital and he's in critical. I still feel fortunate, and um, some people weren't as fortunate. And it's that misfortune that has brought this town such great pain, which today seems almost unbearable. While police say that they are confident that there were no other gunmen, late today they say they now believe other people knew about their bloody plans, and finding out who is now the focus of their investigation. Dan? Investigators were hampered in their efforts to find out what happened because they, so many bombs were still there. So it may be a while before investigators actually know how this all took place. 